Extreme One Chunk Iron Man, one of the most brutal ways to play the game. Each game chunk is made up of 22,500 tiles and in each one I have to complete everything. All quests, all unique monster drops, all mini games, all diaries, all collection logs and all the highest level skilling challenges. So far, I've completed a litany of brutal grinds. 89 agility without leaving Mauritania, 85 cooking without fishing a single fish, the entire Revenant's collection log, and many, many more. In this video, I'm taking on one of the toughest chunks yet, chunk ID 12859. In this chunk, I have to get both the Vetion Junior pet and the Draconic Visage. However, it isn't as simple as grinding out these items. Killing both Lava Dragons and Vetion costs Revenant Aether via the Vigorous Chain Mace and the Accursed Scepter, both of which are charged with these ethereal tokens. I grinded Aether every day for 5 months and ended up with 700k of it, however it's already half gone. If I run out of Aether before attaining both the Visage and the Vetion pet, my account will be ruined and I will have to go back to the Revenants for months. God, please, no! 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 To avoid this, I need to both get lucky on drops and avoid as many PKs as possible. Can I get lucky? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canifis Chunk. If this is the first time on the channel or you've been enjoying these videos so far, please consider subscribing. We are very much on the road to 40,000 subscribers. Thank you and enjoy. Oh, another dragon pickaxe. I'm not entirely sure what dragon pickaxe that is. Uh, number five, six? Something like that. Ah, oh, 1,020 kill count. First drop of the video, I believe. So, exciting stuff. Oh, long bone number. God knows how many. Why do I just attract the long and curved bones and just reject the other drops? Like, I should have so many more uniques than I have. I should have, like, well over 20. And, yeah, it's just not happening. Um, I seem to be a magnet for bones a bit like my wife <laughs> that would work better if she was my ex-wife and she ever cheated on me but she hasn't so mm. <laughs> and there is the first level of the video i believe 86 attack and we still haven't gone up a combat level i don't think so oh i must have gone up one very recently Four? Surely you don't get five per level. That's weird. Um, okay, yeah, so 86 attack. I think I'm going to get 90 and then go back to strength. Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan. And it is a huge moment. Up to 40. 40 super combat doses in the bank. That is absolutely massive. we just got another 100 Ranar weeds as well. Nearly up to 1,000 of those, which... Kind of sounds like a lot, kind of doesn't. I mean, one day when we get 99 uh, Herb Lord as a requirement, that will not make a dent. <laughs> but it will be a lot of prayer potions for me at some point, which at least that will be nice. And here is kill count number 1100. Only 400 to go until we get to the pet rate. So really not that many. And I, what, what's it for certain... I have not spooned this pet. This is not. This is added to the long, long list of things that we have not spooned super early. So uh, we got the Star Wars pet early, which was not a very long pet. And now we are taking our sweet, sweet time to get this one. Hopefully we get it soon. But to be honest, the loot is actually very, very good. So I don't particularly mind going a bit dry on this. Um, but I prefer not to go crazy dry because I don't want to demolish all all my uh, Revenant Aether here, if I can avoid it. Oh! That was the last drop that my friend needed, the Void Waker Blade! <laughs> it was, um, he's like a one chunk Iron Man as well, and he's like a vanilla, 
rather than extreme. So he doesn't need the pet. And the Void Waker Blade was the last thing that he needed to green log Vettion aside from the pet. So congratulations to him. I think he got it at pretty much a very similar kill count to what I did, around the 850 range. So <laughs> well done. I'm happy for him. And that was on my MVP as well. So he's very lucky to get it. Oh, God, I'm actually quite excited. That was cool. Nice. I'm happy when people achieve things, see? It's nice. Uh, his channel is um, Inux. He's been doing an RD-based One Chunk Iron Man for a long, long time. Way longer than me, about 18 months or so. Uh, possibly even longer than that. Uh, he's got a lot of progress on there. So I'll chuck his link on screen now and I'll chuck it in the description. And feel free to go check him out because, yeah, it's, it's good content that's been going on a lot longer than mine. So he definitely deserves a success and is definitely very, very committed. When I'm deep into an old school RuneScape grind, I usually eat terribly. But that's not at all the case when I use today's video sponsor, Factor. When I'm home alone, it's so easy to pull out my phone and order something bad for me and that destroys my wallet. With Factor, I don't have to spend a ton of time cooking something from scratch, but I do get a restaurant quality meal in just two minutes and a fraction of the cost of takeaway. So it fits into my lifestyle easily and saves my pocket. There is a lot of variety each week too, with 35 meal options to choose from, including keto, vegan, and calorie smart options. So whatever it is that you like to eat, Factor can deliver it in two minutes without all the faff of shopping, prep, and cooking. Get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off for the next month of boxes using my link. There's never been a better opportunity to give Factor a try and confirm that all the hype is worth it. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thank you. Oh, another dragon pickaxe. How many dragon pickaxes are we going to get before the pet? Rate should be about seven or eight, and I've got seven. So <laughs> we're now getting into uh, Thammer and Scepter territory where we're going to be getting multiples upon multiples of uh, dragon pickaxes before we get the one drop that we need. At least the dragon pickaxe is a lot more common, so I don't feel too bad when I get it. Hopefully, though, the pet will come soon. Oh my god, look at the stack. We're getting so lucky lately. 53 super combat doses. Oh my goodness. Me from like 100 kills into this grind could never have expected this. I'm so excited for this. 53 super combat doses. I'm just that I mean I get about 5 or 6 kills per dose now. So that is nearly 300 kills of just guaranteed super combat usage which is so so nice okay just lost connection on the cannabis chunk account uh, my other account is perfectly fine and logged in so not an internet issue oh this got me nervous the last time this happened to me i lost my iron man account malformed login packet Okay, please just log back in. Don't say like wrong password or anything irritating like that. <sighs> okay, yeah, the last time that happened to me, I got hacked and like lost seven bill. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm fucking happy that didn't happen that time. That How has that not hopped? How has that not hopped? Like what? I'm so like, I saw them, I pressed it like 10 years ahead of time and it still didn't hop you taking the piss oh my god just, the fact that that's an hour of my time every single time it's just the worst oh my god it happens so much off camera as well that i don't show oh my god that's twice today these little freaks have got, <laughs> have got me oh i know some of you don't like when i get mad at them but it's just it's so much of my time just being deleted so infuriating, honestly. So, let's talk a little bit about PvP and why I get so mad when they attack me. So, do I resent PKs personally? Absolutely, no, I don't. They are just doing a feature of the game, as I am. So, you know, it's a perfectly valid thing to do, and I'm sure it's lots and lots of fun ki killing other PKs, getting loot, like, relatively easily, that kind of thing. I'm sure that's great. It's rewarding. I'd probably do it if I could be bothered. What I do resent, though, is the way that Jagex set up PvP. So they, they seem to believe that the only way to generate any kind of, like, PvP 
in the wilderness is to create these like insane loot hotspots like Vetion and stuff where the GP per hour is so high if you're using max gear like if you're using max gear here you'll get like 35 kills an hour and you'll be making a lot of money um, same with places like the revenants the other wilderness bosses that kind of thing and they seem to believe the only way to generate PvP activity is to do that and force PvPers to kill PvMers who are getting that loot, right? So what you then generate is a situation where one half of your players participating in the content really dislike the content. It's not PvP either, because like, especially in multi-combat like this, I can't fight back. Like, what was I supposed to do against those two guys that just got on me? Nothing. So half of the people involved don't like it because it's just uh, uh, it's just interrupting what they actually want to be doing. Like, I'd be here at Vetion whether it was in the wilderness or not, if you know what I mean. Whether it was good loot or not, in my particular scenario. I appreciate other people might not be, but I am, right? Um... They've generated the wilderness weapons to be the best um, weapons in the wilderness against P against monsters and stuff. So I'm basically forced to use revenant weapons here. And then to make it even more annoying, they make it so that it's incentivized for the PKs to kill me against me wanting it to happen by making it so that the mace always loses about 250k's worth of GP in ether every time they kill me, right? So they actively want this scenario where the PKers are fighting PBMers, which seems backwards to me. What they should be doing is focusing on trying to get PVPers to kill other PVPers, which seems to just be something they seem utterly unwilling to try and do. Every update they bring out is some kind of like, oh, you can make five mil in the wilderness doing some kind of skilling or PVM. And the trade-off for that is that you're going to have, you know, 15 minutes of your time wasted every so often, or in my case, an hour of your time wasted every so often, um, having to die to PKs that you don't want to fight, um, which seems crazy. Like the, the new wilderness agility is exactly the same thing. And that was released two weeks ago. Um, they need to find a way to incentivize PKers to kill PKers because otherwise it's just not fun. Like, is it fun for PKers to like fight me? No. Like, it's it's like an easy kill. It's like me killing trolls or something. Like in the in in the wider wider context of the game, like it's so easy. So it can't be fun for them. Like when I see PVP PVPers killing other PVPers, that looks fun. Um, and I think they find it more fun as well, hence why like the good PKers always tend to be on Twitch or whatever fighting other PKers because that is fun, it's more rewarding as well because they can drop like 100 mil at a time as opposed to just farming 100 me's dropping 500k at a time. So surely that's preferable. And I think it's a relatively easy... See, and there's another one. Please don't come in. I think it's a relatively easy thing to fix as well, right? So they seem totally unwilling to try. And the way to fix it is to make, I think, areas in the game where... Like, so I would... Firstly, I would about quarter the amount of worlds that you can use Wilderness PvP. So what I'd do is either remove... Uh, the wilderness on like three quarters of the world or simply make it so that um, the wilderness was not a PK area on those on those worlds not sure which would be better and um, potentially like nerf these bosses and stuff to be like a quarter loot on those worlds so people can still get kill counts get pets etc without bringing in stupid amounts of uh, gp into the game because like i like the idea of people being able to come here in full torva and like max it out but obviously that's stupid with the loot table that it has at the minute um so if you want to come and get the pet here and all you want to do is kill the boss and get the pet then you know it might be nice to be able to do that not in a pvp setting use the max gear you really want to use not have your time wasted but then as a trade-off not get the ridiculous loot that you get anyway and then in the worlds where the wilderness is pk enabled make there be areas where you just attain loot for doing nothing right so you just stand there and you get money and the 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 reason to do that is that there's no alternative reasons to go there other than to get money there's no one like me there just getting money right so 
what I would then do is make those areas very, very limited in scope. You know, have like three um, or have like one in each of the quarter of the world that are coins um, that you that you just get and it's single combat and then have another one where it's coins that you get and it's multi-combat. And the longer you're there, the more money you get. So all that means then is you've got an entirely... Um, entirely pvp centric economy because no one's going to be there for alternative reasons no one has to bring their revenant weapons if you want to try and steal some gp and go at a quiet time and just stand there with nothing on you you can but by far the most effective way to go to be, to be there will be to gear up in a shitload of gear really high-end gear like missouri and zarek crossbows and void wakers and this kind of thing and defend yourself from everyone else that's trying to do exactly the same thing and the best way to get money from 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 those people would be to kill them and the best way to kill them would be to bring better and better gear so then you generate a system where it's pvpers killing other pvpers and they're all having fun and making money doing it as it is at the moment, I just don't think it works. Like, it just generates this frustration. And it's why there's this, like... And I'm as much a participant in this as everyone else, right? It's why there's this real divide between, uh, you know, toxic PKers and toxic Iron Men and toxic PVMers. Because the whole system is just geared up to put people at odds with each other in, like this weird, and it's like a bit of a kind of triggering word, but like this weird non-consensual way of doing PvP, which is just really alien to like almost all other games. This isn't how other games operate. They set up systems so that people fight each other, not just get slayed by other people. Uh, like whilst doing something else. It's really odd that that is how they've decided to tunnel on PvP. That's just, like, you wouldn't pick up Call of Duty and have heart, well, <laughs> other than like infected, right? But you wouldn't, like, the, the default isn't to just have one guy running around unable to kill anyone else and everyone else trying to kill him. That's just not how the game's set up. The game defaults to you have a gun, they have a gun, you shoot each other. Like, that's not what this situation is, particularly in multi-combat like this. Like, at the Revenants, sure, in theory, you can gear up and fight back, but people don't do it because uh, just why would you? It, it's, it's easier to run away. It's easier to log out. It's easier to just take the death every so often. You will make more money just taking the death every so often. So you still just end up with this weird scenario where people don't want to fight each other. And that just isn't fun for anyone. PKs don't like that. PVMers don't like that. It's just all a very odd situation. I have no idea why they just keep going down and down and further down this rabbit hole when it would just be so much simpler, so much simpler to just generate areas where pe where people would were, were were incentivized to fight each other. And I I I don't understand if they if they feel they can't do that. Or they just haven't thought of it, or they genuinely think this is the best way to do it, because I can tell you for free, it's not. It's a very frustrating gameplay loop for everyone that just puts everyone at odds with each other. Like, you know, I'm I'm g I drop my fair share of like fuck yous and whatever to PKs and stuff that kill me because it's it's annoying. They're wasting my time. Like, not only are they wasting my time where I can't be getting Veteon kills, but I've got to go and get the, you know, 1200 ether that I lose back at Revenants, which takes me like an hour of my time. I'm not happy about losing that. Like, as much as I can appreciate they're just participating in a, in a, in a piece of the game, you know, from a cold, detached perspective, while I'm playing it, it is really annoying. And it winds me up. And that isn't a healthy way to have your PvP combat system. It's just uh, bizarre, bizarre. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of get across my feelings a bit more so that people don't say, you're just a crybaby that PKs kill you. And it's like, well, yeah, to an extent I am. But also, this is just the wrong way to do PvP in a, in a video game. And here is level... 35 slayer very nice you can now kill wall beasts i do definitely think that's the best use of our time i think i think the only really like valid things to lamp on one of these accounts is um hunter and slayer and i don't really want to get my slayer any higher 
because uh, I don't want to trigger the 95 cooking grind that I would trigger if I got up to gourmet implings. So I think for now, Slayer is still definitely the best. Um, my vague idea is that if I get 40, I can kill these terror dogs. And if I kill and if I unlock the haunted mine at some point, that would then allow me to kill those. And being able to kill those would be a requirement for the enchanted salve amulet, which is the better one. Um, so that would be helpful for me both at Revenants and at Vetion, which are both things that I will probably do beyond this chunk, to be honest. So I think having access to the upgraded salve amulet will be good in the long run so i think getting that 40 slayer over time with the uh with the lamps is definitely a good thing whilst we can't get to the earth warriors that is our current task oh there we go nice little dragon pickaxe on the account number eight i think that is neither here nor there I was, i'm so depressed that they're only one mil i wish they were 10 mil still and there is a Dragon 2H and Elite Clue together. Do we like getting Dragon 2Hs? They feel to me a little bit like the... Uh, oh, I just broke my client there. They feel to me a little bit like the Thaumur and Scepter now. Getting way too many of these things. And there is 1200 kill count of Etienne. Still no pet. <sighs> surely, surely we get the pet soon. 300 kill count off the rate, which is really not far, so... <sighs> Soon, surely. Please. I've not got another Void Waker piece yet, which I should have done uh, if I was going on rate. So if I'm not going to get another... Uh, if I'm not going to get the pet, I would like another Void Waker piece. Oh, there is 87 attack. We nearly missed that one. Very nice. Going to keep going up until about 90, I think. I think that's probably going to be where I stop and go back to strength. But 87 attack. I still think of myself very much as a range-based account, but 87 attack, 94 strength, so we're kind of getting there on the melees. Right, not a bad little trip there, I'd say. Two zombie keys and some other gump forward. You can get a lot of super restores there, which is pretty nice. Uh, using that Adam and Arrow tech has actually been quite nice, to be honest. Uh, so I might continue with that. Oh, I've got PK on me. I'm pretty sure I can't run away from this guy. Can't hit back. I've got my left click options turned off. Okay, he doesn't have teleblocks. If he splashes on me quite a bit and I can survive another 18 seconds, I should, in theory, be able to get into the enclave. Go on! Go on! And the telly blocks just run out. <laughs> Got him! See ya! <laughs> oh, oh, that was so good! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, who are these nonces? Oh, there's only so much I can do against some guy with a ballista. Why are they always the perfect combat level to get on me as well? There's just not much I can do against that. Do you think this guy's stream sniping? 
Probably. The fact he said yeah probably tells me that you're right. Where's this ladder that I need to climb up? Oh, at least he's not smiting me. Prayer flicks are kind of on point. Where's this ladder? There it is, right. Come on, a few more splashes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we're doing so good on the escapes. Oh, fuck. Oh no, please don't attack me. No! No! You are joking me. Oh! Go on! Please get away! Oh, I might get away with it. I might have got a gap there. That's <laughs> it! Oh, fuck off. What is this dick doing? Surely we get away at the ladder. There we go. Easy peasy. Ho ho ho! Let's have fun with him, boy! Alright, time for me to suicide in here. Oh, see, so that, well, what happened there is exactly how um, it should work when I hop away. Like, I was quick on it, and it went straight away, and I can see a whole team flooding in on the other world, presumably killing that other guy. Um, and I got away with my loot. Did he just die? I think he just died. I think that's him there, no? <laughs> Please tell me he died. I mean, he's so bad, so I'm not that surprised. Like, he keeps taking, like, uh, smacks to the face and that kind of thing, so... Wouldn't surprise me. I hope the dog just went over and, like, pumped him for a 30. Yeah, he did die. He's back with no gear on. <laughs> that has got to be a bot. He's got 1100 total level and like level one in like a lot of stats. Okay, his only boss kill count is 35 Veteon kills and nothing else. I'm very confused. If I had to take a guess, I would... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh my god. The triple hit splat insta-death just made that. <laughs> oh, this guy helping with the... Uh... <laughs> that was nice. 100, it's the freest 168 gold. Right, and here is kill count number 1,000.
300 no pet yet 200 to go until the 1500 which is the rate um the loot is going kind of crazy right now look at that death rune stack just from like one and a half kills absolutely nuts uh the magic log count is about 11,000, so i'm not exactly going to be screaming crying and throwing up if i don't if i don't get the pet by 1500 but it would be pretty cool to get it Oh, did you see that? I got away from that PK. -er. Yes, yeah, see you, mate. Unlucky. <laughs> oh, that was so such a good hop. I'm very happy with that one. Very nice. You love to see that. Oh, you just got Scalafetti on. <laughs> nice. On his MVP, so deserved. And a shame for him that it's only worth about 60k. Look at this guy. Loving doing the duos with Sean. So this is, I think, actually the meta would be to have 10 different people in different worlds, get it all the way down, and then I just hop in, last hit it, and get a quarter of the loot. I think that would probably be best, but then I guess I would also have to run out through the caves the whole time. So I don't think that would necessarily work as well as it seems on paper. Oh, you toss weasel. Oh, he's on me. I'm so dead. There's no getting out of this. <laughs> we got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> we got away with it. I can't believe that. That is possibly the first time that's ever happened at this boss. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, got the hop there. Sorry, Sean, if you didn't get the hop. Oh, that was good. Right, we'll die because we don't have our mace charged anyway, so we will let that... We will let ourselves die to the NPCs to get the NPC death so we can go to the bank. But that was very nice. Oh, it makes me happy when I get the, uh, when I get the, get the hops away from the PKers. Now that is a extremely fat stack of gold ore, which I'm very happy to have on the account. Let's have a little look at how much gold ore I actually have at the moment so we're looking at 38,000 gold ore which if my maths is correct is about 800,000 smithing xp that is crazy now look at the state of this 76 super combat doses we are going mental with that at the minute that is incredible love that Oh, another skull of Vetian at kill count number 1,359. Surely we can get some other uniques. The skull of Vetian has got to be the most boring of the lot. Although I'm thinking I might be able to get a full set of nine accursed scepters. That would be quite funny. Oh, there is 88 attack right on the death clip. I was just death banking and we got 88 attack and that snuck up on me very much so. Two more attack levels, I think, until I go back to the strength training. But that is 88. Two more. So once we hit 90 attack, we'll also hit 108 combat. Uh, let's have a look at the loot that we just, uh, we just banked. I felt like that was a good trip. Uh... 938 gold ore. We love that. What level is that guy? 122, but he's got about 1,100 total level. He has zero boss kill count, except about 60 Vetion kills. Oh, fuck off. Surely he's going to get... Oh, I thought for sure that was someone that was going to be trying to get him. Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh, I shouldn't have gone through. Has he actually followed my instructions and actually got on that other guy? <laughs> ah, get him. Okay. <laughs> yes, you dickhead. Oh, see ya. He tried that so badly. Oh, I'm so happy about that. He, um... Ah, oh, yes. Because he, like, logged in under me. And then, like, logged off. And then he just logged in and insta went in the cave trying to trick me. That's so funny. Oh, my God. I got him so good. See you, dickhead. With this kill, it is going to be kill count number 1,400. We are but 100 kills away from the pet rate, and we still do not have it. We love getting the sand through serums. <sighs> 1,400 kills. Crazy. Crazy stuff. <laughs> He's got skull prevention. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> as if he tried to attack me and he's got skull prevention on what a fucking dork oh a ring of the gods nice looks pretty neat on the floor you love to see it. Right. Uh, I should probably bank because if I get another unique, then I'd be risking the chain maze. <laughs> so. Yeah, I might bank that. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Like that. Grab my coins. Oh, fuck, this PvP world. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Just did that on a PvP world. <laughs> right, so it is a big moment for the account. This guy just hopped in a kill or two ago. But there is 1,500 kill count, which is the drop rate for the pet. That is nuts. Um, we are absolutely flying. Technically, we're not at the drop rate for the pet because we have done a few duos, whether intentionally or not. Uh, but either way, we've done an amount of duos, probably less than less than 100, less than a couple hundred. So by 16, 1700, we're going to be hitting the rate. Um, so yet another grind that we have not spooned on early, which is just crazy this account cannot get lucky ah uh, ah uh, had my uh, alternative account in a different world <laughs> oh oh that was a good one good start north of the wreck oh my god it's an elite clue we can do and um, Armadillion or Bando's Guard. So I've got a one in a million shot at an Armadillion Helm or Bando's Boots. Oh my god. It's huge. Oh, 89 attack as well. God, we're good. We're going crazy this trip. One more level to 90 attack. That seems unlikely, doesn't it? Nice. So... We've got this elite clue that we can do. North of the wrecked ship outside of Port Phasmatis. Oh, fuck. Am I thinking of the right place? No! I can't do it! Ah, oh, no. I'm so depressed. I thought it was over here. Ah, oh, that's pure depression, actually. Oh. Well, I'll chuck it down anyway. And I might just do some practice. How many elite clues? I'm going to have to check how many elite steps I can do. Ah, oh, that's so depressing. Hey, there is a dragon pickaxe. That is dragon pickaxe number 10. 
down to a green highlight on the floor still, but is somehow retaining enough value on the GE to get a shout out in the clan chat with the one mil GP value. I think that will probably be the last dragon pickaxe that gets shouted out in the clan chat. Oh no, because it goes it goes down to 500k. Okay, so it will still get shouted out, but I think it is going to drop below a mil on this received a drop thing very soon. That is so tragic that they're so cheap. But dragon pickaxe number 10. And there is 1,600 kill count at Vertian. Still no pet, which is rather disappointing. So we're entering the minds of solid. Uh, we're entering the minds of being solidly dry now, which is quite exciting. Uh, but yeah, onwards and upwards. All right, that's time for me to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I got away with that one. Oh my god. Whoo! I think I would have got away if he'd got on me or not, but I definitely got away with that. Oh. That was a mighty hop with the 25 Sandfu serums in the event as well. So, last night whilst I was on mobile, things got a bit out of hand. And what we managed to do was I thought, oh, I'll stack up some zombie pirate keys. And instead, we just got the teleport anchoring scroll. Uh, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll get that off a zombie pirate uh, key. So I thought, oh, I'll stack up some keys. I'll open those on the, on the PC. Jobs are good. And no, nope, one in 20,000 drop directly from the zombie pirate. So we will take that. I have a screenshot from mobile where I'll probably put that on screen. Uh, but let's uh, become immune to the Abyssal Demons and Elder Chaos Druid teleportation attacks. And there we go. So rather anticlimactic that that just goes away and we've got nothing to show for it. But it may not be the end of the zombie pirate grind because I do need to open up these Larin's keys uh, and essentially get a, I think, 1 in 30 to get dragon dart tips. So hopefully that works out for me. Um, because if it doesn't, we're going to be doing a lot more zombie pirates despite already having the anchoring scroll and knowing my luck i will not get a draconic visage i will not get i will not get the vetti on pet but i will get multiple teleport anchoring scrolls i bet so uh yeah let's go open up these larynx keys and hope that we get the dragon dart tips right this feels incredibly wrong to do but i need to open up the Laren's small chest, which is presumably something no one ever does, because the big chest gives the uh, the big chest gives the chances at the dragon high. But hopefully, oh fuck, I should have uh, brought my looting bag. If we can get the dragon dart tips from these seven keys, we don't need to do any more zombie pirates. And it's not looking good so far. Uh, not magic seeds. I've got too many of those. Two more, please. 5.7k superior essence, that's cool. No! Oh, that's so sad. Um, right, we've got the super combat this time, so the kill should be quick. Oh, that is piss poor timing. You are fucking joking. Oh, what the fuck? Get a fucking grip. <laughs> That's just tragic. So, this system update timer here, 28 minutes, that is actually finally the update timer for project rebalance and as part of project rebalance they are going to be removing the diary requirement from the lava dragon shortcut on the south of the aisle which means in 28 minutes time i will be able to get to the lava dragons and that means that uh, the draconic visage grind is then 100 percent on the cards and also i can get insane prayer xp from the lava dragons by actually being able to do that grind 
on the isle itself and bury the bones. I assume that Lava Dragons might be quite busy <laughs> due to this update, but I might try a little bit after the update. I won't take any Revenant Ether with me, so I'm not risking very much, but we'll see how it is. Um, so this is the shortcut in question that will be doable. See, so you must complete the hard tier of the Wilderness Diary to use the shortcut, and, but very shortly, that will not be the case. Sadly, though, alongside the Lava Dragon Isle shortcut, we're also getting an update to the Canifis Meat Shop, and that update means that you can no longer do the method I was doing of selling and buying the sharks from a main account. I am stuck... Not able to do that for a cooking method anymore, which is a shame. But we did at least get to do it for the bulk of the cooking grind when we could. Um, and we also still have a thousand sharks banked. So that is why I've stopped using the sharks at Vetian and we're going to use the anglerfish instead. But it's a very big update for us for one, one reason or another. And doing some lava dragons is going to be very, very fun. I feel like I probably should do it. Um... Do, do it first because of the prayer that levels that I'm going to get, which will actually be useful for me at Vetion. Um, but I don't know if I entirely will. But that is crazy. Ugh! Exciting stuff. So it is one minute until the update, and that means that what I'm going to be doing is gearing up in some magic gear. So my thought is if I do uh, the Scepter and Mystic and then take some of these with me, uh, I will be in a pretty solid spot to free to entangle PKs that get on me uh, whilst I'm there. So we'll give that a go. Uh, we'll only need like 10 of those, won't we? I'm not going to... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably splash quite a bit. So I'll take like 30. Um, don't have ether in the Accursed Scepter yet. So let's do that. Uh, I'll keep the trip short to start with. Uh, so we'll go something like this. Long range, so we get some defense XP whilst we kill the lava dragons. And yeah, very excited for this update, I must say. So we are bowling our way up to lava dragons for the first trip of the video. Um, if we can spoon the draconic visage very early, that will be very good. Um, Slightly better than the teleport blipping scroll, I think, because I don't want to use a load of ether here if I can avoid it. Uh, but it won't be the end. I don't have that chunk. Region locker is clearly broken, I think. Whoopsie. Hold on. Uh, region. I have region locker on. Oh, it's region locker GPU, which is turned off. Okay, right. Sorry about that. I just think when it's that chunk material difference, not the same. So. If the update has gone through, we should, in theory, be able to cross these stepping stones now. And we can! Oh! That's exciting stuff. So there's loads of skeletons here, which I think makes the safe spots around here very, very easy. Yeah, okay, cool. So it looks like, I, I believe the respawn timer on Lava Dragons is very, very short as well. So we should be able to kill these relatively easily. I think what I should probably do is try and stand somewhere... Where PKers can't see me very well. But that might be tough. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try this out for a bit. Draconic Visage on first kill. Surely, surely we get it. Oh, we did, we did get the dragon. We did get the rune axe on the first kill, though. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice indeed. Oh, run. Ouch. I need to try and find where the best place to stand is. Here yeah, seems decent. Um, so, assuming that the lava dragons work as, or that burying the lava dragon's bones works as I expect, I should get around 300 XP for burying this lava dragon bone here on this island. And we do 340 XP each. So our prayer level is going to start shooting up. Um, I need to try and get a good eye for how many Lava Dragons I can kill per hour. Um, but it should be quite a lot, which is very nice indeed. In four kills, I've used 
So I'm using somewhere between about 14 and 15 charges per kill. So if I do 10,000 kills, that's 150,000 ether, assuming zero deaths at all. So that is going to be a lot of ether. So I probably should try and wait until they do the elemental re readjustments so that I can use water wave here. I think that's probably going to be the way forward. Right, so we are getting to the end of a six minute spree. So at 8.45, we had eight kills on the counter. Uh, so six minutes later, after this kill, we have 18 kills on the counter, which means we're getting exactly, in this setup here with the Accursed Scepter, 100 Lava Dragons per hour, uh, which means that we're going to get a Draconic Visage rate in 100 hours exactly, and we're, which is a 1 in 10,000, and we're getting about... 34,000 prayer XP per hour, which is very, very good. I don't know if that's actually better than Soul Wars, though. Um, but yeah, essentially, we're getting a lot of prayer XP and a lot of kills per hour, and the Draconic Visage shouldn't be too bad if it's like this. But if we go three or four times rate, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly that 100 hours looks a lot worse. Um, and I'm not also sure whether I'm going to use the Accursed Scepter the whole time because it is quite taxing on the ether doing this. I'm using about 15 ether per kill, which doesn't sound too bad, but if I do 10,000 kills, that's 150,000 ether. If I go three times right, that's 450,000 ether, and that's more ether than I actually have. So... Yeah, this is going to be an ether farm if I stick with this. So I'm hoping they do the elemental table update relatively soon. And then I'd be able to use water wave here for hopefully almost as many kills per hour as this. But it would at least be free from an ether perspective. Right, and that is the end of the first trip of Lava Dragons. I'm probably going to go back to Vetion for now, but it's good to have some data on the, uh, on the stats. The fire orbs... Very, very good. I mean, uh, how should I die? I feel like I should just suicide to the dragons again to get back to the bank. I think that's probably the best way. I don't have any untradables on me. Uh, but the fire orbs are very nice. Um, I've got a rune axe now, so I can do Ents effectively. Uh, I've got rune bolts, which I can use for some fletching XP. I've got a unique-ish item of a lava battle staff, which is pretty good. And... More Onyx Bolt Tips, which I can use for Fletching XP as well. So I would say a very successful first trip. Do Lava Dragons not do fire? Do they only melee you? I thought they would use Dragon Breath for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, having that Rune Axe is so big. That is going to give us so much better loot from Ents. Than all the axes that we had before so that means that we are going to be getting a lot more fletching xp than we got before and that's very very good indeed oh there is a ring of the gods looks nice on the floor that is the fourth ring of the gods very nice right i oh, i just broke my fucking client again Oh, yes! Yes! Yes, I just died before that guy came in! <laughs> oh, that was nice. Huge. It'd be quite a lot of... Oh. Yet another skull of Vetheon. Can't escape these things at the minute. I, I think I might have enough now to upgrade every single one of my scepters. We passed 1,700 kills, up to 1,715 now, mostly solos. Still no pet in sight, but I guess at least getting some uniques is better than none. So we will take it, even if it's about 50k. So as part of today's update and the project rebalance, there is another thing that they did that might affect us. And that is they took the Earth Warriors task off the list of available tasks for Maz Channa. And Maz Channa is exactly the only Slayer Master that I have access to. 
and is also the slayer master that took my uh that gave me my earth warriors task so my task should hopefully be remembered nope uh we do have an earth warriors task though or we did uh i don't think it's likely but i think there's a chance that now they've removed oh there we go earth warriors 0 47 killed so it has remembered it there's a chance that it's going to have taken that task away because it was originally given by Maschana. They've never removed a task from a from an NPC before like this, at least to my knowledge. So there's a decent chance that that task will have been taken away. If it has, I'm I'm laughing because I might be able to re-unlock Slayer again. And if I can re-unlock Slayer, that'd be huge because I could stop lamping Slayer and just train it for a bit. Um, and I think that'd be quite fun. So let's go find out. Okay, so the moment of truth is upon us. Can we get an assignment from Maschana? No, you're still hunting Earth Warriors. You 47 to go. Come back when you finish your task. Sad times. Can't cancel. No points. Sad. Rip. Oh well. Back to Benny on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every time. Every time as the fucking dog spawn, like what? Oh my god, why do they all have mates? Come on. Come on. Please. Please tell me I just got a gap. Yes. Yes. Got away from two of them. Yes. Ah. Oh, unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable scenes. Yes. Oh, that is so good. Oh, feels good taking 1350 gold ore and 225 magic logs to the bank. That is got to be some of the juiciest loot that I can get. Like the trip there. I think that's going to take us... I must be over 50,000 gold ore by now. And I think that takes me over 15,000 um, 15, magic logs as well. And that is the kind of thing we need because smithing and fletching on this account are grinds that we either have at the moment or are going to have. Yeah, 54,000 gold, 15,000 magic logs, 25,000 oak planks. That is fucking crazy. Wow. Oh, you are joking! That's the first time that's ever happened. No! Oh, I've got the run energy, you fuck! Oh no, that is so bleak. Why'd he go up? Right, I just need to die now. Okay, why the hell did he go up there? Did he just not see me? He was dying fast. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I can't believe that. What a noob. Oh, there is 90 attack and 108 combat. 1275 total as well. May as well just throw that in. Should I move back to strength and train my strength up? I probably should at this point, shouldn't I? Let's do it. Huge. 90 attack. Melee's stonking right now. Oh my god. I think this invent of loot might be the single best invent of loot I've ever had on this Betty on grind. 675 gold ore. Slaps. 40 Sanfu serums. Slaps. 300 dragon bones. Slaps. That is an absolutely behemoth set of loot. That is so nice. And luckily, I can death bank it as easy as that.
Look at that. 116 doses of Super Combat. It is safe to say that our worries about Super Combat potions are a thing of the past, which is very, very exciting for me. Uh, just need to set that back to there and set the left click back to drink. And we're good to go. 100, over 100 doses of Super Combat. That is so good. That's like over 500 kills of Veteon right there without getting another drop at all. Oh, Skull of Veteon number 10. Drowning in these now. Absolutely drowning in them. 1789 kill count. I would say pretty officially dry for the pet. But, you know, sometimes you get dry on some items and moist on others. <laughs> Fuck man, I'm out of there. I think they're on that they're on that guy, but they're stressing me out. Oh No. No! You are joking! He just happens to come in here. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, you absolute fucking time waster. Go on. Oh, he's done it again! He's done it again! See you, dickhead! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm just built different. Yes! See you! <laughs> Ah, uh, he just, he does what he wants. He does what he wants, does uh, General Frabo the first. Oh my god. <laughs> and now we head back into the caves for the PBM death so that we can take all of our loot back to Ferox Enclave. You love to see that. Ah, oh, I love doing that. That might be my new favourite escape. The in and in the cave, out the cave, in the cave, out the cave, and run. Oh, that's class. Love that. <laughs> oh, the best PVM, the best PVP escaper on YouTube strikes again. Oh my God, another skull of Vetion. Just give me the Vetion Junior pet, please, instead. My God. I can't move for these things now. I think I've got 11 of them. Oh, fuck. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why didn't that guy get on me? Okay. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Oh, and there is a Dragon 2H sword. It's been a little while. But they're back to haunt us. I think I've got more Dragon Pickaxes than 2Hs now. So uh, the 2H is definitely not our Thammer and Scepter, but it's possibly our Crossbow, only infinitely less useful. Okay, so this is one of the more bizarre glitches that I've ever seen. So keep your eyes peeled and let me know if you can see what happens. So it just skips from the end of the first phase to just being dead. No dogs from the second phase, no damage needing to be done on the second phase. It just immediately dies and gives out full loot. We're not entirely sure why this is, but we do have some theories. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think happened, and I'm going to be live streaming, testing it, and seeing if we can replicate it on kick after this video. So feel free to tune in at kick.com slash as soon as you're done with the video. Haha, <laughs> I got away from that guy. RIP! See ya! And here comes a truly biblical milestone. Didn't really think I'd get here, to be honest. Thought I'd have, uh, you know, potentially given up or received the pet by this point. 
Um, obviously, now that I'm recording, I'm hitting about 4,000 zeros, but half of that, 2,000 kill count on the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man at Vetion. That is a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's only going to keep going up, I think, but that is rather exciting. So let's take a quick look at the loot tab that we have so far. Some of these numbers are starting to get very, very big indeed. 65,000 gold or 17,000 magic logs, 29,000 oak planks, uh, 11,500 super compost. That one is nuts. 527 regular super restores. That is crazy. Only followed by 900 and 29 Sanfu Serums. That is going to be insane for the Nightmare Grind. Still holding on to quite a lot of Ether. We've got 129k there, and we've got another almost about 230k there. So we've got about 350-ish k left. Uh, we started the episode with way more than 400,000. Uh, so we are running out, but not as quickly as I feared I would when we first rolled Vetion. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty well. We've got just around 90 or so Wando Super Combat, so we're doing well there. White stacks on the Blood Runes and the Death Runes now as well. 310 ranging potions. That seems like an insane amount. But if you want any more Canafish Chunk progress, come and join me live right now at kick.com forward slash foray um it's been a very exciting time doing the streaming so far we're streaming a lot and uh i think we've been having quite a good time seeing all those pk i think people have enjoyed seeing the uh, pk escapes live and uh, also the chance that they will be there at the moment that the pet is received so uh, if you want to uh come and watch thank you for watching the video and uh go join the link below um yeah, it's been a fun one. And as always, a huge shout out to the channel members of which I am forever grateful. At the Amethyst tier, Fontcest, Taufane, Patrick Wright, Jean Scallon, Sir Yolo, Mike Moran, and Fuklas. At the Rune tier, Crito, Cianscape, Cornstalk Hands, Jesse Emelian, and Adam Cornick. At the Legend tier, El Pinin, Brad Norsium, Cum Crumpet, Titas, Uberhasu, Baseman, Alesi, Draco Ranger, Pierre Totari, Just Taxland, Girk, Can't Even Fly, and Douglas Sears. And then, as always, all the gold tier members Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Salnexer, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse. Ninrim, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Asharanka, Spooky Pasta, Carsman, Hannibal, Potatis, Wimble, Chash John, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold93, Dominique G, Luke Davies, Sauron Pedersen, Morseco, and Shibadiba. <sighs> actually think I did all of them in one go correctly that time. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and come join me over on Kick right now at kick.com forward slash fray. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.